Hi guys, I found this article in The Independent talking about how Billie Eilish referenced the Depp vs. Her trial in one of her songs and I wanted to find out more about it and talk about it with you so let's read the article and I'll share some thoughts. So it says Billie Eilish explains why she referenced Depp vs. Her trial in a new song. Women are losing rights for their bodies so why are we talking about celebrities divorce trials? Earlier this month Singer Billie Eilish referenced Johnny Depp's defamation trial against Amber Heard in an unreleased song that she performed to fans on her UK tour. Now, the 20-year-old singer has explained the inspiration behind the song as the Supreme Court voted to overturn Roe v. Wade, the landmark decision that legalised abortion nearly 50 years ago. In an interview with NME published on 24th of June, Eilish said that she wrote the song after the court's initial draft opinion in Dobbs v. Jackson, Women's Health Organization, was leaked last May. I was in this state of depression, losing my own rights to my own body. And then I'd go on the internet and it would be people giving their take on this trial, she told NME. Who f***ing gives a f***? Women are losing rights for their bodies. So why are we talking about celebrities' divorce trials? Who gives a shit? I can understand her frustration. The Roe v. Wade case is a huge and delicate issue. And I hope she's feeling better now that everyone is actually talking about it. However, I do have to say I think she underestimated the importance of the Depp v. Heard trial. Because I personally never considered it a celebrity divorce trial. I think this case actually highlighted a couple of big holes in the fabric of our society. Let's start with the first. Cancel culture. In this case, Amber Heard made some horrific allegations against Johnny Depp. But she didn't even have to prove what she was saying was true. Yet Johnny's life was turned upside down. His reputation took a huge blow. Hollywood condemned him. He lost job opportunities. And the grief this must have caused him and his family is immeasurable and irrevocable. This was a case of guilty until proven innocent because Johnny had already lost it all years before the trial. And in court, it became crystal clear that Amber had lied about the whole thing for personal gain. Luckily, Johnny is rich enough to go to court and clear his name. But that's not the case for most people. And cancel culture affects more than just the rich and famous. What does someone who can't afford to defend themselves do in a situation like that? I can't imagine how devastating that must be. I think it's important to remember that allegations are not the same as truth and that allegations are made for personal gain more often than we'd like to think. So we should take them with a grain of salt and revert back to the good old innocent until proven guilty because that has served us well for many centuries. Why change now? Now the second cultural issue lies in the concept of believe all women. I find that concept almost insulting and totally naive. Sure, in most cases women wouldn't lie about something as horrific as SA or DV, but to think that women aren't capable of being devious is crazy. Of course some women, like Amber, are capable of lying to get what they want. It could be for custody of their children, for money, for revenge, it could be for many other reasons. You know, I watched lots of videos covering the Depp v. Heard trial. And I was astonished by the comment section because in it there were lots of men commenting on how they also found themselves in a similar situation to Johnny's. And it tore their life apart. Some of them lost their jobs, their home, money, their relationship with their children because they weren't allowed to see them anymore. You name it. And all because women were believed when they shouldn't have been. For these reasons, I think Billy was wrong to downplay the significance of this trial. Because it provided two valuable lessons to us all. First, not to cancel people without knowing the facts of the case. And second, to remember that women are also capable of making false allegations. But it also became a beacon of hope to those who might find themselves in Johnny's shoes. And it offered a renewal of hope in the judicial system to many because justice was finally served. Let me know what you think about this all in the comments below and give this video a like if you liked it so YouTube knows this is good stuff. Thanks for watching guys and until next time.